Uh, sing to God for justice. So back to the song, Judges 524. Most blessed of women be jail, uh, the wife of Eber, the Kenite of tent dwelling women be most blessed. Let's just revisit this chapter four. Do you remember who jail was previous chapter? She is a fierce gal. So Sisera, the commander of the opposing army, his uh, two wheel drive got stuck in the mud, uh, probably electric. And uh, he, uh, so he's running for his life and then he shows up at her tent and he's like, okay, hide me. So he gets under the rug, he's hiding. He's so tired, he sleeps. She gets a mallet, she gets a tent peg. She nails his head to the ground. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I mean, for Halloween, you got little girls dressing up like jail. I mean, she was, she was fierce, right? Um, and so here, they're singing a worship song to her. Oh, let's just talk about that. Do you think that this would be a chart topper today on Christian radio? <laughs> hey, let's, let's, do the, let's do the whole worship song thanking jail for nailing a man's head to the ground. See, what we have today, we have a day where we have, we have hijacked creative Christian music and art, and we have made it positive, safe, uplifting for the whole family. And songs like this would never make it on the airwaves today because nobody's like, mom, play that worship song again about the chick who nailed the dude's head to the ground. That's my favorite. Right. Here's the big idea. Our culture has gotten so soft that their women were tougher than our men. Shots fired. So you just need to know, sometimes when God does something, we should celebrate it, even if it's a little complicated and dark as they did. They sang a song about this. This was a chart topper. He asked for water and she gave him milk. She brought him curds in a noble's bowl. She sent her hand to the tin peg and her right hand to the workman's mallet. They're honoring her. Uh, she struck Sisera's head, she crushed his head. She shattered and pierced his temple. Uh, this was justified. He was a murderous soldier and this was a war. Between her feet, he sank, he fell, he lay still. Between her feet, he sank, he fell. Where he sank, where, uh, there he fell. I love the next word, just in case you didn't know how this worked out. Dead. I just think, to me that's funny. It's like, she nailed his head to the ground. What happened to him? Dead. Um, out of the window. So now the scene shifts from jail to Sisera, the opposing enemy soldier's mom. So the scene of the, of the film, as it were, shifts to Sisera and his mother's house. Um, out of the window, she peered, the mother of Sisera, uh, wailed through the lattice. So she's at home, her son is off to war. He is a decorated combat veteran, but he is a terrorist and an evil man. And he is the Osama bin Laden of his day. And she's peering out the window or lattice and she's wondering, where is my son? Every other time he went off to, to battle to terrorize civilians, uh, he got home by dinner and he's running late. I wonder what's happening. Why is his chariot so long in coming? Why tarry the hoofbeats of his chariots? Her wisest princess is answered, indeed she answers herself. Have they not found and divided the spoil? This is a haunting, horrific line. I'll explain it in a moment. A womb or two for every man, spoil of dyed materials for Sisera, spoil of dyed materials embroidered, two pieces of dyed work embroidered for the neck as spoil. And then lastly, so may all your enemies perish, O Lord, but your friends be like the sun as he rises in his might and the land had rest for 40 years. Here's what I want you to see. For 20 years, they didn't worship. There was no peace and there was no prosperity. And then people worshiped in the spirit and people in the culture were healed and there was peace and prosperity for 40 years. If the church would start worshiping, things would stop, start changing. Howdy, Pastor Mark here. Thanks for viewing the clip. And if you'd like the entire sermon, we've got it ready to go. 